I'm Phoebe McCarty, and this is Pills. We are a society sinking in pills, pills, pills. We are a society drunk on the idea that we can only survive with chemicals and lies packed into a capsule where we rely on these daily fibs. We tell kids they may be too young to cling on to something to believe in something while telling them that they are incomplete. And whatever rests in that daily dose will put back what we believe is lost. See, mental disorders are more common than headaches these days. Kids get diagnosed with names that grown adults are afraid to rattle off of their tongues, and we try to fix them with pills, not asking where they come from, what kind of crazy you could be prescribing yourself. Family stays ignorant with silence, trying to patch you up, stuff your mouth full of pills before you are a problem. Just a story to be told behind closed doors where nobody can see her mother shake her head. She asks for her capsule of sugar every day. She's barely 15, but sometimes she breaks too many rules in her head to control her voice or her hand. She wakes up with slices she doesn't remember giving herself. She could die without knowing it. She believes in being no good without applying a complete nutrition label. She tells the boys she loves she's an imbalanced diet. Please go consume something healthier, not understanding who relies on pills, just like her, swallowing a dose of whatever might make you good enough. Let me ask you, are the side effects worse than your condition? He can't hold the sad out of her, can't kiss the little cutaway trying to see how many times she lost control and he wasn't there. What are the pills doing for her now? And in public schools, they advertise medications you give yourself. Fight depression with addiction. Why are you staying down when you can get high, man? Kids that don't plan on graduating, just getting through a month, sinking into oblivion. Oblivion is ecstasy, and we stay quiet. Hushed whispers of you picking up your prescription. Can your doctor prescribe you happiness? Your mother hushes your voice, talking about the monsters in your head. They never quiet down, but you sit gagged behind psychopathic tendencies. Girls wishing to fall in love so maybe they can tip off a cliff. Be okay enough to get off their pills. Another form of self-medication, America prescribes body image. Read a magazine while you skip your meals, or your sadness will sink into your stomach. No, we won't ask about your shrinking until you are gone. Just the stomach chocked full of hatred and pills. See, nobody speaks about how okay it is to be sad until we are all gone. Until we hate ourselves enough with or without our medication to pull the trigger. Cut a little too deep. We can't blame the pills because we weren't doing anything right, according to those magazines, according to our mother's stares as we walk into therapy knowing she may never stare at us again when we are laying in that coffin with no more pills to take. Oh.